Hello. Well, I'm glad you asked where I am, because I'm not in the forest garden today. I'm many miles south of there. But where am I? And what am I doing here? Perhaps you'd like to watch a little more and find out. It all started yesterday. After a decade of planning and research, then another decade of hard work, I finally created a lifestyle I don't want to break from. However, I'm starting to get itchy feet. Well, itchy wheels in this case. So what better way to cure that craving than to give my new horse box trailer tiny house project its first road trip. Secrets and treasures for everyone's pleasure And Rob's discover, Rob's discovery Ideally this morning, I'll be hitching up my bow top wagon to a fine filly cob, but alas, I sold my Vardo 11 years ago and bought that yurt over there. I shall have one again one day, but this will have to do for now. Hello. 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 I'm going on an adventure. It's time to saddle my 62 year old mechanical steed and head 60 miles or so southwest along the coast to my favourite place in the world. Together we'll make our way 
to dance and sing the summer in, for tomorrow is the first of May. The cold took Billy Matthews, one bitter winter's morn. Sixty years of labor on the land was all he'd known. No sons to carry on his name, no wife to shed a tear. So Nearly there now. Now that summer is almost here. Exmoor, a rich mosaic of wild and remote open moorland. Deep oak wooded valleys, high sea cliffs and fast flowing streams. These dramatic and diverse habitats provide homes for a vast array of species, including majestic red deer, elusive otters, and some of the UK's rarest butterflies and bats. I'm heading to a teeny tiny place just before all that, Horner Corner, a little out of the way campsite, a mile or so from the mouth of the babbling river Horner. There we go, all set up. I had to put everything on the floor that was on the walls, lest it jiggle around in transit and get broken. But it didn't take too long to get set up. There's my kitchen area. There's the wood burning stove and all the wood burning paraphernalia that goes with it. The extendable bed, the storage area above the bed, and I tried to switch the 240 volt electric on just now that runs from an inverter under the bed that um, comes from a battery charged via the solar panels. It's exactly the same setup as in my yurt. But when I switched it on, nothing happened. And I checked the fuse in the double plug and it was blackened. So I need to find myself another 13 amp fuse so that I can charge my telephone up and have the electric lights on in here. But fortunately, I have these lovely fairy lights that are battery powered from little AA batteries, which I far prefer to this big harsh light above actually. Plus, it's a good excuse to finally light my gimbaled Victorian paraffin lamp. Isn't that a beauty? Now, I am desperate to go and explore the wild woodland over there. But it's been a long drive and a long day so far. So first, a cup of tea. I'm glad I brought some water with me. sure what I'm setting out to find but there's nothing quite like looking if you want to find something you certainly usually find something but it's not always the something you're after really does have its own microclimate and the weather here is constantly changing and this road here to Porlock goes ever on and on not that I mind mind you look at that view
there are no safe paths in this part of the world. Remember, you are over the edge of the wild now, and in for all sorts of fun, wherever you go.